Hey y'all, so we're gonna do another message. This is gonna be live from my bedroom. <laughs> All right, because I was gonna write this message down for you guys and just post it like that, but it's getting much deeper here and I think I just need to record because it's too much for me to write, okay? So I asked, what is this person hiding from you, okay? This could be somebody that you used to deal with, uh, somebody that you was in a situation with, somebody that you used to date, somebody that you used to fuck around with. Uh, this could be your baby father, this could be your your um you know your husband your ex-husband this is somebody's person though that they used to have something with and now this is what they're not telling you all right this person could have chose to move on with a fire sign or maybe this person is a fire sign we have leo sagittarius and aries so um basically this person uh they decided to move forward with this fire sign here and right now they're in their feelings okay so this is what's being hidden that they're in their feelings right now um, I feel like they're not really too happy with this decision that they made with this fire sign uh, because right now they're struggling when it comes to their finances and when it comes to their um, stability, financial stability and security with this root chakra in the reverse, okay? The root chakra is about being rooted, it's about being, you know, stable, it's about, you know, uh, having your shit together here. This card in the reverse is telling me that he's not stable right now, all right? And it could be because... Um, Something with his finances, okay? Because we have struggling, we have occupation, and we have spend wisely. So I wanted to uh, clarify more into this. And we have here money hungry. So they're telling me that this female is like a gold digger, okay? Um, and I feel like she's the one that got him caught up in this financial struggle here, okay? Uh, that's why he's in his feelings right now. I feel like he's also in his feelings because he found out that she was like doing something here, okay? Now, what she was doing, Spirit let me know that somebody's losing interest here. So I feel like that's what he's losing interest. I feel like she's also losing interest because she's a money hungry hoe, okay? She was searching online and she slid in somebody's DM, okay? Because Spirit is showing me here that a woman slid in the DM, right? So I was trying to clarify if it's him that slid into uh, uh, somebody else's DM, but no, Spirit is telling me it's her that slid into his DM. So this is a this female slid into a guy's DM, and I feel like he found out. Uh, I clarified losing interest, and Spirit said that it's third party. So they're saying that you know this female is losing interest in the connection, and he's losing interest as well because of this third party because she's dealing with somebody else. And I feel like he found that out. He found out uh, by searching online. Maybe he saw a DM with her talking to somebody else. Um, and I feel like it could be money related. Now, if it's not only money related, it could also be something connecting to spell work, okay? We have here that the spells ain't hitting, and we have scammer and con artist. So no matter what he found out there, he's looking at her like she's not what he thought, all right? Um, the bottom of the deck, we have the art of persuasion. So this is telling me that, you know, she's somebody who has the gift of gab. She knows how to gas him up, you know. She tells him what he want to hear. She knows how to finesse him, basically, okay? So the spells ain't hitting. So this bitch is doing spell work. Let's see what's going on here. He Maybe he found out that the spells ain't hitting. Um, you know, maybe he saw her reaching out to the practitioner or some shit. All right, but um, let's clarify. What if the spells ain't hitting? You know, and that could be why he's looking at her like a scammer, like a con artist, because he didn't think that this female was on this type of time. He didn't think that she was a, a money-hungry gold digger. And look, we have sugar daddy, you know? So he didn't know that she was, uh, you know, that she was using him for money. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, look, we have here the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. This is definitely somebody who's doing dark magic, somebody who's manipulating him, somebody who is also... Um, financially, you know, uh, very ambitious, all right? Overly ambitious. She's after the money. So again, this energy of money hungry hoe, all right? We have third party situation here with this three of cups, all right? We have broken engagement, broken commitment, cheating affairs, all right? So basically that's what's going on here. Now, um, let's see what else we got. So yeah, the spells ain't hitting. So Spirit is giving you clarification that, um, she could have went to a third party, like I said, um, a practitioner to try to do some spell work here and it's not working. And now he must have saw something regarding that. All right. And I feel like he's for sure. He must have got like a, he must have seen a conversation with this third party shit too. So let's see. The spells in him could also be like 
he's not under the illusion no more. You know, again, the art of persuasion. She been finessing him. She been getting her way with this guy because he's been under these illusions. So this guy must have had like an awakening or something where now he's realizing what she's about. You know, that's why Spirit is saying the spells ain't hitting no more. Whatever the fuck they doing, it ain't working. This guy probably raised his vibration. This guy's probably, you know, he's leveling up spiritually. Maybe he's been spending a lot of time, uh, you know, in hermit mode, spending time alone and shit like that. And um, he leveled up. So, yeah, look, we have here, again, black magic with that uh, magician card in the reverse and the eight of swords. So, I feel like, you know, she does this to have, look, this king of pentacles, him, this guy who, you know, who, who maybe is trying to have his own empire, somebody who's trying to build an empire, trying to, uh, you know, get his shit together here and be financially secure. Again, this energy of sugar daddy, okay? So, I feel like she's doing something, whatever she's doing is having him all in his head, all right? Yeah, look, we have, again, manipulative energy, this queen of swords. So this is somebody who's manipulative in the reverse. She's the uh, manipulative, somebody who could be overly dependent on him. Again, something going on with the money. Uh, it's also about somebody being sly and deceitful. So again, you know, we keep getting the same message here that this is the type of time that she's on. All right, so let's see what else we got. So with occupation, struggling, you know, like I feel like he's trying to make his, uh, you know, he's trying to make his money and shit like that. But uh, she's making it hard for him. And now he's realizing that, you know, he been putting this bitch on a pedestal or whatever's going on here. And he's like, damn, you know, like, I've been doing this. I've been spending all this money on this bitch. I've been taking care of her. And she's just a money hungry hoe. Okay, so let's see. Any more? Yeah, look, she could have stolen something. We have graveyard dirt. Thank you very much for the confirmation spirit. This bitch is definitely doing spell work. Again, if it's not her actually going out there and, and getting the graveyard dirt, she's doing it with a practitioner. All right, we have bougie, stuck up. So this bitch acts like she's bougie. She acts like she's stuck up. Uh, you know, she acts like she's a good girl, whatever. Like, you know, but no, she's really, look, a karmic. All right, and I feel like that's what he's realizing. He's realizing she's a karmic. He's realizing that she's into all this bullshit. Okay, we have Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Somebody's a water sign in this mix. Or it could be that he's intuitive, you know. Um, water sign energy, you know, gives me like Pisces, all these signs here, like they're very intuitive. So he could be that again, he's having like this awakening here. He's starting to listen to his intuition and he's realizing like, okay, something is up with this bitch. Now we have here, the devil's going to start messing right before God starts blessing. So this is again, giving me the energy that he's leveling up and the devil's sending these low vibrational demon bitches to see, you know, if he's going to free himself from this situation. Okay. Um, this is just part of the, it's part of the, part of the, part of the game. Okay. When you start leveling up, you start, uh, becoming more enlightened, you know, there's going to be tests. And I feel like this female is a test. This female is definitely a karmic. All right. So it's up to him now to free himself from this situation. Yeah. Look, we have secretly with somebody else. All right. And we have snitch. So maybe somebody snitch. Yeah. Look, life partner. All right. We have you are their karma. So I feel like this person is experiencing all this karma here because this person did you wrong. This person, uh, you know, yeah, this person wanted to be single uh, or he wanted to be out here doing him and shit like that. And um, he didn't give you what you deserve. He decided to move forward with this bitch and now this is his karma. But wants to be single is just basically telling me he wants to be single. He don't want to be in the situation with this bitch no more. Yeah, look, divinely guided. Like, he wants to... Uh, free himself from this karmic law this karmic situation he knows that this bitch is in his life for a reason he knows he has to learn something here all right we, we got private investigator so maybe this could be the snitch maybe he you know he got a private investigator maybe he's the one doing his own uh research here okay and he's finding out what's going on with this female all right tell me more So we have inspired. This is this could be um again, she's inspiring him, you know, to want to be single, to get out of the situation. And what we said here, spying. So yeah, he's definitely spying again, searching online. Like he's definitely doing his um his work here to find out what's going on and trapped. So again, he feels like he's trapped. He feels like he's in a situation that he don't want to be in with this female. Okay. Let's see what else. Tell me more about the situation. What's being hidden? What's being hidden? We have J and S. So some of y'all could have these initials. First name, last name. Let me see what else. 
we have B here. And look, bottom of the deck backfired. So again, the spells ain't hitting. Whatever the fuck she's doing, it ain't hitting. Okay, we have bad advice. Somebody could have got uh, some type of bad advice. Uh, maybe, you know, she been giving him bad advice. She's been manipulating him. She's a scammer. Um, this could also be that, uh, you know, maybe this female with this practitioner, you know, I don't know. I keep getting this practitioner energy here. Uh, they could have given her some bad advice and told her to do this, you know, to him. And it's not, it's not working. Okay. It's not working. So let's see what else. Yeah, it's not working. Look, she's getting caught. The seven of swords talking about doing shit behind the scenes and getting caught for it. And that's exactly what she's getting caught for. Yeah, look, illusions, confusion. She's getting caught for all of that. Like, she's basically, he's realizing everything that she's doing here. All right, spirit. So, let's see. Um, why is he in his feelings? What is in their feelings? Let's clarify that one. What is in their feelings? I feel like he's just realizing, like, you know, she's using him for money with that sugar daddy card being the first card that came out. He's realizing, like, damn, she's using me for money. This bitch don't love me. <laughs> All right. What is in their feelings? Yeah, he's in his feelings. He want to move on. He want to get the fuck out of the situation. Yeah, he got clarity here. Again, uh, he found out the truth about everything here, and now he... And of course, my phone dies. I still don't learn my lesson, y'all. <laughs> I still don't learn my lesson that I need to plug it in when I am doing these readings. So anyway, back to where we was at. Uh, he wants to move on now, okay? He wants to move on from the situation after he found out the truth, after he got this mental clarity here, okay? This could also be communication. Again, somebody could have snitched and told him that she's secretly with somebody else, that she's a, you know, she's a gold digger and all this bullshit. Or he found this out himself with the spine card, okay? Um, you know, maybe he got another social media page. Maybe he got, you know, in her social media, something going on where he, for sure, he found out something online. Okay. So, uh, he feels with the star card, like this is, you know, hopeless. He feels disappointed here. He feels like he, uh, you know, like he put in work into this connection for nothing. All right. Uh, he feels like there's an imbalance here. And with this six of pentacles, he doesn't want to give his time to her no more. He doesn't want to share his energy, his money, uh, his penis, <laughs> nothing his time he don't want to share anything with this female no more all right we have here the four of wands in the reverse so this is telling me that you know he's unhappy uh and this also talks about you know domestic disharmony like there's a lot of disharmony going on if they live together um you know like shit is just basically not what you think you know like um if you be seeing that they posting all these pictures all happy all these videos and shit happy on social media is bullshit this is what's really going on behind the scenes this bitch is faking the funk to him and to the world and he's starting to wake up and realize that this is not what he wants, all right? So I feel like he wants to neglect the situation. He, I feel like he's going to end up walking away from the situation. Yeah, look. It's having him in his head. Again, this energy of being stuck uh, like the Eight of Swords. It's being stuck in his head, not knowing what to do. He's having anxiety. He's having stress. He's feeling very unhappy here. Um, he's feeling a lot of fears, you know, because maybe he doesn't know what to, what to you know, how to, how to get out of the situation. He don't know what's going to what's gonna come out of this. He don't know what to expect, you know, back into the single life. I feel like there's a lot of shit going on, you know, with him. All right. So let's see what else. Yeah. And then with this, he wants to be, he wants to detach again. He wants to get the fuck out of the situation. All right. Anything else we need to know, sir? Ex-lover or friend? Side dude. Yeah. So this, yeah, look, passion. This female, and look, crown chakra. So he got a download. Something guided him. Spirit probably guided him to go search online or something here. And this is the download that he found out that she got a side dude, okay? The passion, you know, there's a lot of passion involved here, sex, whatever. And um, this could be somebody that's her ex. This could be her ex-lover or maybe somebody that she's pretending to be her friend and he's not really her friend. There's more going on here, okay? So let's see what signs we have here. All right, spirit, so what signs are involved? What signs are involved? We have a Virgo here. 
Bottom of the deck, we have Gemini. Let me pull one more. Whoa. Yeah, one more. Sagittarius. And on the bottom of the deck, we have Leo. So we definitely have fire sign energy coming out here. We have Leo, Sagittarius, like we saw earlier, something about a fire sign. And now we have Virgo and Gemini. So this could be your sign, his sign, or her sign. Any of these signs here involved, this could be anywhere in your chart as well. All right. So that's what's going on here. Basically, uh, this person is feeling trapped. This person is feeling like they don't want to be in the situation no more. Uh, they're realizing who they're finally dealing with and um they want to make moves all right this bitch is bougie she's fake she acts like she's popping or whatever like she's a good girl but she's not a good girl she's out she's out here doing shit behind the scenes all right she she's somebody who be finessing niggas you know she could have stole something from him uh financially you know and she definitely up to some some type of spell work going on here but it ain't hitting so i feel like spirit is helping this guy out right now you know i feel like he's been under this spell for a while and now they're trying to, you know, they're trying to help him free himself from the situation. All right. So her time is over here. Uh, let's see how this plays out eventually. All right. So this is your story. You already know what to do. Comment, like, share, subscribe. Let me know what's going on here. If you want to book a reading to confirm, let's do that. Send me a DM or an email. Okay. Tap in.